With photo manipulation technique using Photoshop, it allows me to combine these images properly for t-shirt design and that it's become a cool design like this. And if you're wondering about this process, today's video's tutorial is going to be about that. Stay tuned with me, let's go! yo what is good guys back again with me Mato today in this video I'll be showing you guys the process I made graphic shirt design like this basically I'm gonna manipulate images and try to make a cool design using Adobe Photoshop let's jump strike into it open up your Photoshop and let's get started come on Alright, first of all, I create new document and start by making a square workspace with 3000 by 3000 pixel with absolutely resolution 300 and give a name to it. As you can see here, I got rid of the background from the hand and gun, then I trim at the edges and you know that's pretty much it and we're good to go basically i'm trim at all using a pencil to get the prices with the ages so it can more easier for me to make adjustment or starting composition more properly with the result by the way i put the download links for all these image in the description now i'm gonna make some adjustment to each image so that it become a good design composition I'm gonna speed it up this process little bit so stay tuned. Right now, I'm trying to get the color balance on the gun's grip. I pick my ultimate move which is adding a gradient map. For this time, I don't want to add in some of color right now. I just want to capture the natural color of the gun's grip. So I play just with black and white color to increase a little bit of contrast. And now to balancing the hand color, I select hue saturation and just drop the saturation section until it pop together with my gun script color. And then I select the levels to adjust more contrast a little bit to make it more pop together. So yeah, as you can see, for all these adjustments that I made, it's automatically applying for the whole composition. 
and then I wanted to let the color of the nails stay as they were. Now I won't erase that so it will be more standout obviously. So select the hand layer, select smart filter over there, pick eraser tool, select soft round brush. Make sure your background color set to black and white and we're good to go removing by painting it all the nails. Alright, for now, I think the composition and the color balance is so freaking good and I can move to make this stuff more cool by adding some of shadows and cleaning up the edges a little bit. Alright guys, for now I will go with my work but it's not the end of the result that I wanted so let's make something even cooler again. Before we go into there, I prepare some small things like group it my layer into a folder so I have some of backup if I want to change anything later on. Now I duplicate my raw folder and convert it to smart object. Trust me guys, it will be helpful to organize my layers. Now duplicate my raw copy layer, leave it horizontally and adjusting a bit and positioning more properly. And I remove some part of hand by pencil and give it a bit shadows to make it look more unified to the whole design. Alright guys, now it's time to adjust and balancing the color for one more time. So it's gonna make this design more stunning and more more cool actually. Let's add camera roll filter to tune up the color. Usually I set up all these things randomly by play with slider over there until I find a good result to the design. I also adding some of noise little bit so that looks more contrast, sharp, and clear. Alright guys, so after this design becomes very stunning, but of course it will not to be the end result. I still want to playing and experimenting with my design by adding some of scars mark or whatever it is. So maybe this idea can be insane but you know, if you never try you will never know. Now I'm gonna speed it up this process little bit so let's go.
Alright guys, move on to the next step So, I got perfect adjustment and composition to the design And the result is so amazing with manipulate images But for now, I'm really happy with it Let's add some of title to this and make some of simple logo for this design And after that, let's put it in on the t-shirt mockup to display this design very well. By the way, leave me comment below if you wanna get my t-shirt mockup. It's a highly quality and highly resolution mockup. It's very very easily to work with, editable layer as well. And it's must to be your primary asset, especially for those of you who work as clothing or apparel designers. I'm so glad to share it with you guys. I'll be pack it up and it's totally free for you. Back to the video. Now I'm gonna speed it up this entire process. Let's dive in. Alright guys, so that it's all for today. I hope you learned something new from this video. I'll be uploading another video later this week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes. Thanks for watching my video. See you on the next one. Peace.